Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we are looking at the early access packs for the Israeli Ground Forces CBT and on offer there is an M51 and also a Makava Mark IId. Both of these packs seem pretty interesting, but as always, uh, when it comes to these packs, just remember before the Israeli uh, ground forces come out, which will probably be in the next update, uh, the only real benefit you get from buying these right now is obviously access to the vehicles early and also being able to upgrade your crew skills. Generally, you're not able, well, you aren't going to be able to put any research into the tech tree because it doesn't exist yet. Uh, so if you are buying these, understand that. There is no like pre-order bonuses on these things right now. Uh, so even a day before the update of the Israeli ground forces coming out, you would be able just to buy these. Um, so, and uh, they would have exactly the same effect. You just wouldn't have been able to play Play them to get the crew skills up so uh, please understand that when it comes to these packs as well uh, as the vehicles uh, will be introduced before the cbt you'll get three free respawns in arcade and realistic battles in each of them so uh, you'll be able to respawn them uh, you know three times to be able to play them so you're not going to be a one and done vehicle now these vehicles are already in game I do have access to them, so we're going to have a look at them. But also, at the same time, if you are interested in buying the packs, um, make sure to use my uh, discount code. You can get 3% off, and you can also get my decal in game. So um, you can get those two things, and also you get to, you know, uh, basically... Uh, uh, you basically, I get some kickback from it, which is always a little bit nice. So if you want these, um, make sure to check that out. And right now, the M51 pack is $40, and the Makava Mark IId pack is uh, $60. And also the differences between the premium time that you get and also the Eagles. Uh, both of them are quite pricey right now, but they're probably not going to go down in price. Uh, so uh, they're probably going to stay the same. Anyway, let's get into the two vehicles themselves. So the first vehicle that is available to buy is the M51. We had a brief look at this one on the dev server. Uh, but they have updated it in a few separate ways and um, pretty much if you're looking at this machine what you're looking at is a Sherman which has access to a 105 millimeter M51 cannon. Everything else is very Sherman-y. I don't know how else to put it. It has okay maneuverability. Its armor will not stand up to anything uh, at the 60 BR. It's at this BR because of its gun and that means that this frontal plate is just going to be penned by pretty much everything that uh, it faces. So you're going to have to get the first shot off every time and since this thing doesn't have a stabilizer not always going to be the easiest thing to do. Um, it's going to be not the greatest. It also has a, pr a standard reload of 9.7 seconds uh, which is is quite long um, but then again it is quite a large gun and uh, also the model itself is easily the best Sherman that we have in game um, it looks absolutely beautiful uh, the vehicle itself is uh, stunning and also we'll probably get a very similar one um, in the tech tree if you want to kind of get an idea so for the LF Mark 9 that we have here like our Isa Wiseman's we also have the Mark 9C and also the Mark 9 CW. So you'll probably get a similar scenario uh, where you get the M51 and then the M50 and then maybe a few others in the Israeli tech tree. It also comes with some barrel markings, which is pretty cool. I know a lot of people like that. It also gets the big lights, but the light doesn't work, uh, or at least I don't think it does. I haven't been able to found it, uh, find it. It does have the five-man crew, so standard Sherman one, but because it has this 105, the first stage ammo stowage is right here and it's uh, stuck uh, as you can see on the new uh <laughs> the new update the macabers get stuck so you're gonna have to uh, let them just uh, go about but yeah it has an eight piece first stage which is really nice but also the first stage is huge so if you do get hit in the turret with uh, APHE, you're probably going to die um, because this is just gonna pop and then you're gonna have a bit of a rough time uh, which isn't going to be very fun but uh, if you, you know, if you get lucky, then you'll still have the two left and you'll be able to survive. It's uh, armor on the side is terrible. Armor on the back is terrible. The armor on the front is, as I said, not very good. So you're not looking at something which is uh, crazy well armored. You're not looking at something which is going to be crazy speed. You're just looking at something which has a very powerful gun. 
and uh, this powerful gun has access to heat, the uh, 400 millimeter penning heat. So this will go through anything at this BR, even up BR, it'll go through pretty much anything. So this is kind of like the crown jewel for the M51 is its gun. And uh, with this shell, it will be able to just kill whatever it wants, uh, which will be really nice. And also it has access to smoke grenades. Uh, you can see on the side here and also artillery. So that's a nice little addition as well. Um, so, uh, and on top of the gun characteristics, it doesn't have the great greatest turret rotation, but it's okay at this BR, and also it has good gun depression. So, your, your main task with this vehicle is getting the gun on target, and if you're able to do that, then you should be doing alright in it. I think it's a fine vehicle, um, I just don't think it's going to be the best at around these BRs. You do have some really fantastic heavies around the uh, around 6.0, especially for like America and Germany. You also have some pretty decent medium tanks as well. Uh, this one's kind of in a middle BR, because normally 6.7.7.0 is the meta, or 5.3.5.7 is. So if you get down to it a lot, you're going to do really well. If you get up to it a lot, you'll still probably do pretty well, because of the uh, 400 millimeter. but it'll be a little bit tougher obviously because of the size of the vehicles so for me when i look at this thing uh, i think yeah it's not too bad you know it's uh it's got all of the nice bells and whistles to it so i just wish it had a little bit more speed behind it a little bit more beefier engine and also it would be nice if it had a 50 cal instead of a 30 cal on the top uh, to be able to deal with either light targets on the ground or targets in the air so there are some weaknesses um, but the gun's quite nice uh, I would personally say don't buy this um, just because of the weaknesses and how frustrating it's going to be. Um, but we're going to have to see when it comes to Israeli tech tree if it has a good lineup around it or not. The $60 pack is the Makava Mark IId. And I think this is actually a lot better purchase than the M51. The first reason is the M51s are rank 4. If they implement the Israeli ground tree like they do the aviation tree, which is what it's looking like they're going to do, then it's only going to be able to research the first two ranks of it. Whereas if you get the rank 6 one, it's going to be able to research the whole of the tech tree. So it'll have better longevity, even if the first initial hit when the ground forces uh, tree comes out is, uh, you know, going to be worse. Now, the Makava Mark 2D right now is um, at the same BR as the standard uh, Mark 2B, but it's better. Um, so <laughs> you basically have a slightly better machine um, because it has a slightly different turret, which has way more uh, additional armor on it. Now, generally, you don't shoot the turrets of the Makava, um, or if you do, you know, you shoot this area here. So you can uh, shoot, you know, and uh, hit the guys back here. Um, but from the front, as you can see, this thing has a lot of beefy armor. It also has a composite screen with zero millimeters of armor, which is uh, unheard of. But you can see the additional stuff in front of the driver here. You've even got stuff here, uh, some more rolled homogenous. You've got the engine there. It's going to be really hard to kill this thing, even with stuff like DM33, because normally what you do is you'd punch through the hole and uh, you'd be able to kill all of the turrets. This is something that um, you can do against the Mark III, but because of the Mark II's BR, it's a lot harder to do because, well, your APFS doesn't pen that much. Uh, or, sorry, it does pen, but the post-pen effects that it has will not be as good. So the vehicle itself um, is one of those which uh, will be very survivable from the front. Uh, you know, you will always have to use all your FPEs because the engine will get knocked out and you'll have to get used to that. Um, it's just kind of how it is. Um, but it also, uh, from uh, some other things, it also has uh, secondary fire controls for the commander, which is quite nice, and also the four-man crew. It's really going to be tough to one-shot this machine unless you see its side and you know where the first stage uh, ammo is, which is right here, these six pieces, which is next to the loader. So it's not easy to hit that. You know, you're going to have to hit it from the side or you're going to have to hit it from the back. And from the front, this thing is going to be very, very tanky. It's not going to be able to stop many rounds from penetrating. It doesn't have the best armor. But what it does have is a lot of secondary armor inside and a lot of modules which are cramped together, which will eat the spalling of the round. And that's basically what will happen. So you're going to have to, with this thing, probably you're going to get breached a lot. You're going to get barreled a lot. And you're going to have to just go from there. 
Um, it does also have extra survivability in its modifications. You have ESS, you have smoke shells, you also have access to 60, oh sorry, 12 smoke grenade launchers and then also 30 smoke grenade launchers on top of that. So you have a ton of smokes. So you can pretty much cover the whole map. You also have an LWS to tell you that you're getting lasered. And uh, you have all of these other nice additions to the vehicle. Uh, and it's just so nice uh, to see, you know, the vehicle itself. It has the standard reload for the 105, 8.7 seconds stock. It has good gun depression. The mobility is pretty good on this quite heavy machine as well, thanks to the engine in the front. But just understand you're going to get burnt out quite a lot uh, when pushing forward. But at the same time, your survivability is through the roof. The Mark II B was one of my favorite experiences in the Macava. The Mark III was a little bit high BR, um, meaning that the rounds penned a little bit more, and that meant that you were a lot more vulnerable, whereas the Mark II D should be incredibly fun against a lot of targets, uh, you know, going forward. And then you have thermals as well for the gunner, MVDs for the rest, uh, it should just be Gen 1, um, which is still fine at the BR. And with the laser rangefinder combo, you'll be able to shoot people from absolutely miles away because you have access to the M111, which pens 337-284. 195 which is a fantastic round for the br so this has pretty much everything you'd want um it, it may it would be nice if it had a bit more mobility but apart from that you know you've got armor you've got survivability you've got a good gun you've got thermals you've got a ton of smokes you've got everything you would want in this uh, vehicle it's going to work really really well uh, with the additional armor compared to the standard mark 2b won't be surprised if this one actually goes up in br at some point um, so watch out for that, which is why sometimes it's better to wait until tech trees are released and then make, uh, or, you know, just before tech trees are released so you can see if this thing's going to have a, um, a lineup around us. But at least right now, this one is looking absolutely fantastic. Definitely worth um, definitely worth having a look at and thinking about. If I was going to pick up one of them, if I didn't already have both, I would definitely pick up the Macava Mark II D uh, just because I had a fantastic time in the 2B. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. I'd just like to thank Professor X1718, Orange Tail, Sakoshi Tiger, BRFC15, Teddy, John Ryman, Universe A, Eugene's Terry, Ambrosius McClellan, Daniel Stanton, Martinez, B. Young, and then Carl Kinn, Bereen, Lafouche, and also Samuel Slick for supporting the channel.